Hello friends, I'm back with another pattern printing tutorial in C programming. Today in this lesson we will learn how to print these three patterns. The logic for all these three patterns are same. So first we will try to print one pattern and then we see how we can get other two patterns from the first one by changing a few statements. Here first we print this pattern. Let's see how it looks to the screen. Here we divide the whole screen into rows and columns. These are the rows and these are the columns. Here numbers are printed in pyramid form and you can see here there is a space between every two numbers. To print this format we need three loops. One for rows means how many rows you want to print. If you want to print 4 rows, then the loop should be like this, 4, row equal to 1, row less equal to 4, and then row plus plus. Next loop is for space. You can see here, before printing number, some spaces are printed in each row. In the first row it means 3 space, in the second row 2 space, third row 1 space, and then no space. Now the question is, how we will get how many spaces are printed in each row? Number of spaces printed in each row is equal to the maximum number of rows minus current row. Here maximum number of rows is 4. So for the first row we can calculate the spaces as 4 minus 1 equal to 3 space. In the first row 3 space will be printed 1, 2, 3. For the second row 4 minus 2 4 is the maximum number of rows and 2 is the current row. And in the second row it will print 2 space. For the third row 4 minus 3 equal to 1 space and for the fourth row 4 minus 4 equal to 0 space means no space will be printed here. So this is the logic to get how many spaces are printed in each row. So we can write the loop as for space equal to 1 space less equal to 4 minus row. Here 4 is the maximum number of row and row indicates the current row and then space plus plus. Now we need another loop to print numbers. You can see here in each row multiple numbers are printed and that is equal to the current row number. In the first row it print 1 number, in second row it print 2 numbers, in third row 3 numbers and so on. So the loop will start from the 1 and go up to the current row number. And we can write it as 4, column equal to 1, column less equal to row, and then column plus plus. These are the three loops that we will use in our program. So let's jump to the coding section. Here first we need to declare some variable. So I'm gonna write here int row column space and n. Next I'm going to ask Ilsa how many rows they want to print. Print f please enter the row number. Next we need to read the input numbers that are entered by the user. For that we use a scanf function. scanf person d and ampersand n. Now we write the loops. The outermost loop will run for a row number. That means how many rows you shall want to print. For that I'm gonna write here for row equal to 1, row less equal to n, and then row plus plus. The value of n will be supplied by the user at runtime. If you enter 5, this loop will execute 5 times and will print 5 rows. Ok, next inside this loop we write another loop that will run for space. For space equal to 1, space less equal to n minus row, and then space plus plus. 
Here n indicate the maximum row number and the row indicate the current row number. To print a space, we use a printf statement and within double quote give a space. Now we need to write another loop that will print multiple numbers in each row. For that, I'm gonna write here for column equal to 1, column less equal to row, and then column plus plus. Now we need to print the numbers. Print as. You can see here numbers are printed in each row is equal to the current row number. For first row it been 1, for second row it been all 2's, for third row it been all 3's and so on. So here we print the current row number, person D, and here we refer row, because row indicate the current row number. One important thing, if you see the pattern carefully, you can find out there is a space between every two numbers. For that, every time when we print a number, we print a space also. That means we print a number and a space together. For that, I'm gonna add here a space. After printing a row, we need to go to the next row. For that, I'm gonna add here a new line. Print tab backslash n. Okay, our program is completed. Let's check the output. Compile and run. As you can see here, it asks for the row number. I'm gonna enter 4. And the output is this. First it been 1, in second row it been 2, 2, in third row it been 3, 3, 3, in fourth row it been 4, 4. Okay, now we try to win this format. If we compare this format with the first one, then you can see all the things are same. The only difference is, in the first format numbers are printed in each row is equal to the current row number. Here you can see, in second row it been all twos, in third row it been all threes, in fourth row it been all fours, and so on. But in second format, numbers are printed in each row starting from 1 and go up to the current row number. For first row it been 1, for second row it start from 1 and go up to the 2. For third row it start from 1 and go up to the 3. And this procedure is continue. You can see here for a particular row, column number is changed. So we need to change only the printed statement where the number is printed. For first format we use here row, but now I'm going to write here column instead of row. Let's check the output. Compile and run. I'm gonna enter 4 and the output is this. In the first row it been 1, in the second row it been 1 and 2, third row it been 1, 2, 3, fourth row it been 1, 2, 3 and 4. Ok, now we try to win this format. Here you can see numbers are increasing continuously. In the first row it been 1, in the second row it start from the next number that is 2 and then 3, in the third row it been 4, 5, 6, in the fourth row it been 7, 8, 9 and 10. So here we need a variable that will hold the numbers. So I'm gonna declare here a temporary variable named temp and initialize it to 1. And here we print the temporary variable temp. And then we increment the value of temp by 1. This is it. Let's check the output. Compile and run. Please enter the row number, I'm gonna enter 4, and the output is this. It is very simple, hope you understand, if you have any doubt, please write in the comment section. I'll be back soon, till then, take care and keep learning.